here on Blackout Spray. As the blue team, we have again and faculty, and um, they have Illidan, they have Anubarak, they spotting here a Brightwing, a Tychus, and a Zeratul. And on the right hand side, for the first time th today, we have Focus Murky for the a umpteenth time, still with no Murky. And we have Falstad, Ufa, Vala, Tazadar, and on the tiny little goat, we have Tyrion. Yeah, and everyone's just bunching up, doing the, the old meta style, going straight for the watchtower. Oh, no, they're not. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see, oh, back. All hanging around here. They've <laughs> yeah. away the shrine, but I'm not really sure what they were trying to find there. I think they yeah, just expected Murky, one of Murky's to go there? I'm not really sure what their plan was there. Well, they must have had some kind of an idea. Yeah. And let's see how they're, how they're laning up. Uh, looks like Brightwing is taking the middle, and everyone's just moving top. Yeah, oh. they're, they're holding top. They're just going to clear the wave as quick as possible before, uh, before Focus Murky even have a chance to get there. This is a... Uh, this is interesting, and that, that's cleared. That is definitely cleared. And now they can grab the shrine on the way down and be down in time to fight for chest. They're actually not going to grab oh, the shrine. Oh, nice stun here on Uther. Uh, I think he might get away, though. That's four against oh, three. Oh, he's blocked by the chest. He does hmm. escape, though, thanks to the shield from Tassadar. And the coins, all except one, go over to him. Oh. And he's like, oh, moment. Nice blink out to stay alive. And amazing stun here by Fazan. Uh, he just kept everyone alive, I think. That retreat was only made possible by his amazing stun there. Yep, really solid knock-up by him. Green out, once again, gonna roam top, grab some XP from that top lane. Just hovering up there at the moment. Neither team really wants to go for the turn at the moment. In the meantime, Tychus got all five coins in the bottom lane. Yeah, no real contest there. Um, I mean, felt that he's just a little bit too squishy to, to stand up against Tychus. Yeah, Falstad actually tricked out of lane there. Tychus disappearing from view, making making Falstad think that he went to the turn. And Tychus was in fact hiding in the bottom of the shrine just to force Falstad out of lane. So we missed like two minions worth of XP. Very, very clever. Yep, and uh, that goes to show they have a little bit more experience. Uh, almost up to level four, but Focus Murky is just a little bit behind there. Yep, we're seeing... The entirety of Enfac turn in here. Falstad comes just in time to die Tychus. Tychus still has five coins to turn in, which will be the full turn in for them. Someone has Bribe. I'm hearing the sound effect for it. We have Bribe on Falstad and Bribe on Vi on uh, Brightwing. So both teams have Bribe. That explains why I was hearing the sound effect so often. So we're going to be seeing some Mercs being taken quite commonly, quite a lot. Thanks to Noah Feel and yep. the uh, Quam Quamto boss? Quam Quamato boss? <laughs> <laughs> we'll call him boss. Yeah, so, something like that. <laughs> just, just boss. Um, the easy camp is helping out Felstead here, and with that, I think he can go for a little bit of a stronger push here on the south side, uh, on yeah, the bottom lane. And wow, hard camp already being being taken here by Zeratul and Illidan, and that's of course where their strong suit comes in with the three assassins. They can take out these hard camps early on. Yeah, they have the damage to do it. While the teams are both dancing around at the moment, it looks like we may actually see a fight at this watchtower. Nope. In fact, they don't want it. They're just going to back up. But uh, while we are waiting, I'd like to point out some interesting stuff in the talents. Firstly, Zeratul has in fact been going for just the standard build of the area on the cleave and the gathering power. It makes it easier for him to dive into fights and just deal huge AoE damage straight away. But the more interesting thing I have is Valor on Max Prime, going with both Siphoning Arrow talents in the form of Siphoning Arrow and the Puncturing Arrow. Really, really interesting uh, style there. Well, uh, they want to uh, keep her alive for a little bit longer, uh, since they do have that Tassada in there, and you, you're counting him as an assassin. Yeah. So I guess that makes sense, uh, having a little bit of a beefier Vela. It's not really so much beef here. It is a bit extra healing. In fact, too, the Hungry Arrow will now give lifesteal. But it's more the fact that she's now being kept at the back of the fight as a spellcaster kind of thing, just throwing in her abilities, rather than being in there with stuff like Manticore doing extra damage. And First Blood goes over to Enfac, just wrecking Faustad in that bot lane. Uh, I completely missed that, unfortunately. I also did, but I guessed it was the bot lane because it was Faustad. Yep. <laughs> And they have Illidan in there, and uh, he can make short work of, uh, of Felstead, no worries. Anything can make short work of pretty much everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, they're gonna grab the hard camp, no troubles there. Felstead is back in lane. Oh, uh, he's out. 
<laughs> yeah, he's out. He needs to step back there uh, against three heroes and the knights and the easy cam. That's just trouble incoming right there. Here's Focus Murky, but instantly Max Prime's engaged the bot. Trying to drop the ultra text, but Tester able to shield onto Max Prime there, just keeping him alive a bit longer. And we're going to see Enfac back out here. And that Hungering Arrow not really doing as much damage as you'd really hope it to if you're building into it so heavily. And we have Repeating Arrow here. Which is, de this is definitely a Hungering Arrow build. Repeating Arrow, repeating arrow every time Valor uses Vault, her Hungering Arrow is now reset. This is huge, definitely a Hungering Arrow build, which is considered possibly maybe the weakest ability on Valor. Ooh, Tessa's in trouble. He's going for the shield. He, he did the phase shift. Yeah, he used the sh phase shift beforehand. And, well, Tessa against four people, five players actually, uh, with right wing now incoming. That's just trouble. Yeah, and they're going to take out the middle fort with that. Yeah, Ford is gone. There is no way Tyrael is going to be able to defend that. He hovered around the area looking for a snipe, but there's nothing he's going to get. And in fact, just going to push their advantage so hard, they're immediately going for Gollum. Focus Murky, they do know this, but they can't really get there because they have to go through minions and the watchtower. Yeah, so they fact, can take a fight right now. They're still level 9, Ooh, uh, and in fact, it's up to level 10. Now and they're, they're thinking about it, but they really can't fight this. Instead, they're just going to take the fact that they got the turn in, and they're just going to start pushing this mid lane. While in fact, do does get the top golem. Yeah, uh, some nice decision making. I mean, uh, they knew that they couldn't take that fight instead of going for the fort, but oh, they might be trapped now. Tyrael ooh, in big trouble. Can he get out? Ooh, oh, there's a stun on Zero Tool. The uh. micro here from uh, from Tiger is able to keep himself out of that Divine Storm. Valor's being dropped super low, gets healed by Ghost Roofer. Green oh, Tessa does in trouble though. Can he get away? Oh, he might be able to. There's the polymorph. Can they get him? He does go down. Yeah, after the polymorph, he just was way out of position there. Yeah, that's a three for zero in favor of M Faculty. Just dominating this fight. That's not just bribe the easy camp in the bot lane though. So they will get a bit of counter push while this is going on. But he now needs to either turn in or get straight up to that top lane. To I think he has the time to, to do the turn in. And you know what I loved about that, uh, the fact that in faculty, uh, once they um, were pushed back here in the bottom lane, uh, they waited a little bit and didn't go straight away for that, um, for the bottom chest. Just let that be, go for the top chest, and that was just amazing, because they, otherwise they might have lost out in that possible fight. Yeah, they might have lost out in it, but they did in fact go for that. And while in faculty have just got another turn in, we have to see that Focus Murky have had to react to the top lane. Like, there's no Merc in it anymore. There's no Golem. But they still have to react. The minion wave will push too far and take out too much tower ammo. They need to defend it. And because of that, we're seeing end faculty all on the map. They're just doing everything right now. The only thing they're not yeah. doing is their hard camp, which only just spawned. Yeah, I think they're going to go for the hard camp afterwards. Uh, Easy camp is already being taken here by Greenout. Um, no troubles there. And I think we're going to see Brightwing moving. Oh, no. I think everyone's just oh, waiting no. for the... They got to okay. go for the double uh, turn. And, oh, Tychus is in trouble down here. Can he get away? Oh, wow. That was really close. And he's going for his Odin form now. So it has to be a turnaround now. And Noob is also in there. Zero two moving in from top. Falset falls so quickly. Uh, Illidan is chasing everyone down. I think he will get the finishing blow there. Yeah, Ufa falls. And no, it's only Valor down here. Can she escape? I think she's she... trying to sneak and she's out. Oh no, yeah. she's stacked around to try and kill the easy cap. If in fact see her, then she's in trouble. And we're seeing Xypho instantly mount up. He might attempt to go around and try and get her. He might. No, he's going for the pirates. He... They're gonna let her go. Yeah. I mean, she, she would have been safe, I think, uh, if she's mounted up and everything. So now uh... if she can stop the easy cap. Did you by any chance see uh, Falstad's contribution to that fight? Uh, not at all. I think he just melted the way. <laughs> okay, uh, allow me to show you through the power of pings while we watch this uh, hard camp being taken. As you can see my pings, Falstad was here. You can oh. see the ping on the map. Yep. Okay, Tychus was here. Okay. Shock and Awe's range reaches to about here. <laughs> <laughs> He just fired Shock and Awe and completely missed. Like, way short. And at faculty turning around, Zypho doing a little bit of damage there, but getting out uh, in the nick of time, not to catch any fire. And I think they're just waiting around, waiting to build a concave and turn everything around. They're three levels ahead. They can take that fight if they, they want to. They are waiting for cooldowns as well. We still yeah. have cooldowns on Locust Swarm, Odin, and Void Prism. So they're backing it out and playing it safe. 
And I think Metamorphosis might be on cooldown as well, but it is bugged in game, so we can't actually tell. And Valor, once again, interesting build, which I'm not too keen on. Going for basic attacks against heroes deal bonus damage equal to their health. Even though she's been building an ability-based build, she's taking a, a talent that buffs her basic attacks, which is just weird because she hasn't been doing that so far. And now we're going to see a fight. Cooldowns are all up. Ooh, nice this engage here by Tychus. Uh, they're trying to get on top of an Uber. I don't know if that's a wise choice, but there comes the Divine Storm. Oh, good Ooh, save there. Void they Prism just taking everyone out of the fight here. And Faculty gets in a really good position, but it looks like Brightman might fall here. Yes, she goes down, and Tassada also falls. Wow. Yeah, that was super. Zon, super close to going down there. He was able to just survive, but Brightwing didn't have any more blink heal charges, so she was not able to blink to Tychus to save herself. Did go down, but in fact takes down everyone else in exchange for the Brightwing's life. And now they're going to get both chests. There are no mercs on the camp for them to take either, so they're just going to get as many coins as they can, I believe. Hang on. Yep, this is another turn in if they were to head to the turn in area. Zon, yeah, I think, I, I think they do have the time. Um, Illidan is down here to check uh, check on the easy camp, and he will see once they move out there because they do have the vision here with the knights. They've turned points to turn in as well, so they know this is happening. But for some <laughs> reason, a Numerak didn't turn in, so they haven't got the full turn in yet. Oh, they're just gonna let Illidan do it. Never mind. Yeah, uh, I think a noob was low. Uh, had to turn back. He was on like half health, or a bit, a bit less maybe. Uh, but they were all dead, so. I, I like the idea of him say, stay, sticking around with his coins. He also, this does mean that Illidan, who's a bit squishier, doesn't have any coins. So, my mistake, I didn't realize Illidan had so many coins. All right, and looks like they're going for the boss again. Yep, uh, we're going to see another team fight here. And uh, I'm going to be honest, I suspect we're going to see another Focus Murky almost wipe here. Yeah, uh, I have to agree. I mean, they know what's up. They know they're in there. There's and another clear voice. Got to do it with the judgment. Is it on cooldown? Oh wow, Zeratul moving out here. I don't know if that's a wise choice. There comes the engage by Tychus. He's trying to dish out the damage. No, nope. heal comes in. And he's kept alive. Brightwing just on top of things here. But Illidan taking a lot of damage now. He moves out. And oh, again, a nice follow here by Tychus. But they're just two levels behind. It takes way too much uh, to take everyone out. And Uther falls in that engagement. Vala also taken out. And falls out of cults, of course, just melting away. Oh, Tychus couldn't escape. Well, wow. Tyrael indeed did in fact go down. Two nice Zeratul chase down. Again, but uh, I'd like to point out that uh, Tyrael actually outplayed Zeratul a bit there by Elderin's mighting out of three members of Infacity as Zeratul void prisoned. So we just void prisoned three members of his own team and had to instantly <laughs> cancel it. <laughs> oh wow. That was actually pretty cool sweet. Play. And now they have the boss incoming. Um, let's see if they're gonna grab another camp here. Um, next camp respawn uh, on the hard camp in 40 seconds. Uh, I don't think that's enough. Well, they can push. They can push with the golem until it spawns. They've yeah. Got plenty of time. I, th I, I think that's exactly what they're gonna go for here. They also have a couple bribe stacks available. Oh, I'm talking that's about that's bribe. So sneaky. Yep. <laughs> it helps out a little bit. I mean, um, not gonna stop the engage here on the top four, but it helps out a little bit. And they need everything they can get. Two levels behind, almost three levels behind. Uh, this top fort is for sure going to fall, there's nothing about it. Yeah, Pastor can shield it all he wants, it will go down. The Golem will go, won't get much else done though. Oh, Zeratul moving in, trying to get Faust at least to get out, but no! Nice get stun! Wow! Now, we're going to have to see... Oh, nice blink kill to dodge that, uh, that shock and awe. But now, we're seeing a full oh. fight. What is Tyr and Uther doing up there? They were, went way out of position. Yeah, I think this would have been an amazing fight here uh, for Focus Murky, but they went way out of position. They could have lured him in way further. And uh, now Felset and Tassada might be in trouble. Looks like they can turn it back, though. Are they going to dive and just try and win here? They're trying to get snipe as many kills as possible. The Golem's now gone. Looks like they are going to back out, but that's still two keeps down for uh, two keeps down Focus Murky and Faculty taking a huge lead here. Ooh, they Hello. will get Tychus and they might get Murky as well. Get out of there. Uh, they, they might get Brightwing as well. Get out of there, greed out, try to get faster, but faster escapes again. Oh, like wow! Skin. And there goes oh. one. Uther just overextending non stop. Also goes down. Well, Such at true. least they did have the payback here with Illidan. A nice little revenge there. From end faculty. In the meantime, though, their catapults are kind of kicking ass. And, uh,. 
Rocket Smoky yet to respond. Tassadar's finally headed down there and is going to clear that up. But that's still 24% of their core taken out pretty much by just those catapults and the golem. Yeah, and they have two rows of catapults now. So that's a lot of damage if you don't deal with it right away. Yep, yeah, those catapults will seriously push the lanes in favor of end faculty and end faculty. Oh, is there? Oh my oh, god. Wow, that was so close. And they're missing so one close. coin right there. Yeah, Zypho nice ward prism as well, keeping Tessa yeah. out of the fight. Zypho Blunk in just enough time to dodge both the shock and or and cancel the judgment there. So, so good. Again, an amazing cancel. Oh, they gotta watch out though. It's only Zero Tool and the noob. Uh, against three of uh, Focus Murky's players here. Yeah, Zeratul though does not care. Going full. Nope, he's gone. Wormhole yeah. is a thing. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be annoying. You turn around, you throw an ability at him, and he's gone. Looks like Enfac gonna chase into the base here. They're going for Valor, but they're right next to the core. Nice wormhole out. Zod actually went a bit too ham there. This is, seems to be a theme with him. Uh, possibly going a little bit too ham now and again. But then Faculty, still pretty good. They now have catapults. They're going to back out. They're, they're, they're already as far in as they need to be. And they're just going to clear this night wave in the top lane. So they can push with their own. Yeah, I mean, they they do have to watch out. Because one or two team fights going the other way. Oh, well, it's not looking yeah, like it. Valor's gonna... just taken out. And Tychus, uh, he's in trouble. He's in, he's trouble. in trouble. But Falstad is the target here. But once again, Falstad just hanging near to his fort. The of the storms keeping himself alive. Follow attempting first to down, but it's not going to work. Pause under attack. Oh, Illidan will, it will fall here. Yeah. Nice divine storm. Might get Brightwing as well. No, they have to turn back for now. And there's a focus fire on the Nexus. I don't know if that's the right decision. They pop the Odin. They were and... going for the kill there. They were simply going for the extra harass. And there are two. Yes, that Oh, Fern yeah. gets killed here with a nuke. Wow. What a move. And now Tychus and Felton are the only one. No, is uh, still in there. And another new Zeratul's nearby, but he's being out for health. They're still doing damage to the core. Still picking off members of Focus oh, Murky. Oh, and now that Tassadar's so gone, I think they can just take out the core if they want to. Yeah, they can. They can just order back here. And that's exactly what Zon's doing. He's just killing it from the back. And they do take it down. There were catapults on it the entire time. So end faculty win again. And I believe that moves them on to the semifinals. You're right. Indeed. And again, just a 17 minute game here. They have an opponent straight away though. Fast forward already taking out I2 Hard Hots. So that will be the next round game.